Hello and welcome to this video explaining how to set up one touch scanning from a brother device to a QNAP NAS drive. Today we'll be using the QNAP TS253D NAS drive. Your drive may differ, but the steps will be similar. If you have just purchased a NAS drive, complete the initial setup. This should be explained in your device documentation. Please see the description for more details. For the QNAP device, I have included links to the documentation, downloads and mobile applications. For the Brother device, I have included the support website and another Brother YouTube video on how to troubleshoot scan to network folder. We'll create two shared folders for the Brother device to scan directly to. We'll create a user for the Brother device. And finally, we'll configure the Brother device to scan to the shared folders via one-touch shortcuts. Open your preferred web browser and enter the IP address of your NAS drive. If you configured remote access during setup, you could also use that address and use your remote access credentials. During the initial setup of the device, I created a user called brother with admin rights and set a password. Enter your admin name and password and then select login. You will be presented with the home screen for the NAS drive. Our first step will be creating two shared folders for the brother device. To do this, select the control panel icon. Now select the shared folders option. Select create. Select shared folder. Give the folder a name. In this example, I'm creating a folder called work. If you want to, you can create a comment for this folder to refer to in future. Please note this is optional and is not visible from the brother device. Select next. Note that leaving the RW option for the user brother, which is my admin user, means that that user will be able to read and write to this shared folder. Select next. Select finish. Select OK. Repeat this process for the second folder. Name the second folder Receipts. You should now see the two folders you have created. It's now time to create a user account for the brother device. To do this, select the control panel icon. Select the users icon. Select Create. Select Create a user. The Create a user screen will appear. Enter the user description here. This is optional and does not show anywhere on the brother device. Create a username for the device. As spaces are not allowed, I will call this brother underscore device. Make a note of this. We will need it when configuring the scan profiles on the brother device. Create a password for the user account and make a note of this as well. Verify the password by retyping it. Using these settings, the user account would be created with read-only access to the public folder and with read-write access to the folder multimedia. We are going to use the folders we created earlier, so select the edit option. You should now see the shared folder permissions options. It's best practice to disable things you are not using. So for this user account, we are going to make the following changes. For the multimedia and public folders, we are going to deny access. 
we are going to be using the work and the receipts folders. The brother device will be creating files in those folders. So we need to set the user account permission to RW, which is read and write. When we select create, the user account will be created called brother underscore device. This account will have access to the receipts and the works folders only. We will use the account name and password when configuring the brother device. If you haven't already made a note of these yet, please do so now and then select create. You should now see the account that you created for the brother device. Open a web browser and enter your brother machine's IP address in order to access its internal web server. If you see a button labeled Open Secure Login, please click it. This might send you to a security warning message. If it does, find and click the button or link similar to this one. This will reveal another button or link that you will need to click in order to continue. Despite any surrounding warning messages encouraging you not to continue, clicking it to access a brother machine is completely safe. Type in its admin password and click the login button. Locate and select the scan option. Then select the scan to FTP slash network option. Select an available profile. Select the network option. Scroll to the bottom of the page. Select Submit. From the navigation menu, click the Scan to FTP slash Network Profile option. Select the profile that you created. Give the profile a name. We created two shared folders on the NAS drive. One is called Receipts and one is called Work. So we'll call our first profile Work. This name will also be visible to end users from the brother device. Next, enter the network folder path. To do this, enter two backslashes and then the node name of your NAS drive, followed by a single backslash and then the shared folder name. You can use the IP address instead of the node name, but I recommend using the node name in case your NAS drive IP address changes. The node name can be found by selecting the control panel in the NAS drive. And then select system. Select the system icon. Select general settings. Select system administration. The node name of the NAS drive is in the server name field. From the range of options here, decide how you want the brother device to present your scanned files. And if you want to protect the scan profile with a pin code. Scroll down. It's now time to configure the authentication. If you are unsure of which authentication method to use, Select the Auto option. Enter the username you created during the Create a User stage earlier. In this case, it's brother underscore device. Enter this in the username field of the brother device. Enter the password you created for the user. Enter the password again. Scroll to the bottom of the page, select Submit. It is recommended to let your brother device test your settings by selecting the Yes option. 
If your settings are OK, you will see the Test OK message. Repeat these steps to add the Receipts profile. If your settings did not work, you will see this or a similar message. For troubleshooting recommendations, please use the link in the description. In this section, we'll create OneTouch shortcuts. To set up the shortcuts, we will use the screen on the Brother device. Select Scan. Select To Network. Select Work. Set your preferred scan options. Select Save a shortcut. Select OK. Select where you want to save the shortcut. Delete the default name. Enter the name for your shortcut and press OK. Select One Touch Shortcut. Select OK. You can now select this shortcut to scan to your NAS drive with a single touch. Repeat this process for your other profile. Your profiles are now configured for One Touch scanning. If you configured remote access when you initially set up your QNAP NAS drive, you will now be able to access the scan folders from a web browser or with a mobile device using the QFile app. Thank you.